There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch? It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is onto us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace. You really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Mogilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Mogilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. Alright. One last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know, after you sharpen your blades you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. What are you two doing back here? Things didn't work out. We'll lend a hand with your raid. <laughs> Awfully presumptuous, aren't you? I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Muffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible! Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <gasps> no, Luffy said! No! Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. 
Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. <laughs> We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. Who goes there? Oh, I'm pretty sure you were expecting me. Come on, really? The townspeople are gone. I was right. It's a trap. Credit for demon lady. You're here. You're the demon that escaped the island. What if I am? You hurt my dear Oscar. You will pay for that slowly. Hey! Come and face me then, exorcist. I am honor bound to aid her. Beware her left arm. Is this all you've got? A pair of demons should be simple for you. Who wants to taste my blade next? You fiends! All exorcists, form up! As I hope. You're <laughs> 
your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work. Coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. Well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Those will explode. What? Our stores of flamestone! Rokuro! I'm with you! Hey! Aren't you forgetting someone? What are you all doing? After them! Lady Teresa! The ships! The port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies, put out the fires at once! Move it! We're ready to set sail! I won't let you escape! Never! Save the secret snake! I'm a demon. Spare me your sermons! Then you can pay with your life! <laughs> Deception. Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two. 
The kid's gonna blow himself up! To think you were a demon! The crybaby exorcist? I wasn't crying! Two praetors. Not looking good. Knock them back! That's an order! Knock them back, or I'll eat you! An order? <laughs> ah! Now! <laughs> Why? Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helaviz is no more! Curse you! Curse you! Such ghastly demons! The Abbey, no, Lord Artorius himself must be informed! Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? <sighs> hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim are tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> 